so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Flippy! Hey, it's me, Flippy! And today, we're here at the Kogan Family Aquatic Complex in San Diego, California! And guess what we get to do today? Scuba diving! <laughs> I just love the water! <laughs> oh, and don't forget, before getting into the water, always ask a grown-up. Hi, Blippi. Jason is a scuba instructor. Whoa, <laughs> and it looks like there's a lot of scuba equipment here. <laughs> so Jason, what's the first thing we need to know before we go diving? Well, Blippi, the first thing we need to do is get our wetsuits on. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're wearing wetsuits. Whoa, Jason, why is it important to have a wetsuit? Well, one, we want to stay warm when we're in the water. And also, we want to protect ourselves from any stings or any animal encounters we may come across. Whoa! <laughs> this is a pretty cool wetsuit, and it has two of my two favorite colors. Yeah! Orange and blue! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, and check it out! Scuba gear! <laughs> What's all this? This is our main scuba kit. This is what we're going to use to breathe underwater. Whoa! Check it yeah. out! Look! There's a big tank on the back. Does yeah. this hold the air? This holds all the air that you're gonna need underwater. Ooh, <laughs> look, yeah. and it's the color blue. Ooh, yeah. oh, and what are these? These are called regulators. We Ooh. always have a set of two for extra safety for you or a buddy. Oh, <laughs> one for me and one for my buddy. <laughs> my blippy buddy. Yeah. yeah, and you see, looks like there's a mouthpiece, right? There is, that's what we breathe the air from the scuba tank with. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to breathe underwater and go scuba diving. Whoa, <laughs> and what's this? This big jacket piece is what we call a BCD, a, a buoyancy compensator device. Whoa, a B, C, D, buoyancy compensator device? <laughs> Whoa. So this helps us with our positioning in the water. So we can sink, we can float, or we can maintain buoyancy right in the middle. No way, this vest helped us sink? and it helps us float. <laughs> it takes Whoa. air from the scuba tank and inflates and deflates in the vest. Oh. If you want to try it, Blippi, hit that gray button right there. Okay, <laughs> let's try. Check it out. It's inflating and floating. And then, <laughs> oh look, it's deflating. I bet that would help us sink. <laughs> yes, it would. Oh. Well, what else are we gonna need? The other thing we're gonna need is our mask. Oh. Ooh, look, I have an orange one. Hello. <laughs> this helps us see things underwater, like animals and other marine life, and it also keeps all the water out of our eyes. Oh, that would be so cool to see animals underwater while you're in the water. Ooh, <laughs> Anna has a nose. <laughs> hmm. and That's the, pretty cool. <laughs> the last piece of gear that we have are fins. Ooh, check it out. These fins? help us swim in the water like a fish. <laughs> one fin. Two fin! Oh! And you put these on your feet? That we do, yes. Oh yeah, look. You put your foot right in there, and then you can swim like a fish, or like a shark, or like a mermaid! Whoa! <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> that, it, it's very fun. Well, I think it's time we get all suited up and get in the water. Let's do it. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> We're wearing scuba diving gear. Whoa! <laughs> I am so excited and ready to start swimming with the scuba gear. <laughs> but Jason, what happens if water gets in my mask? Oh, it's okay. We can get the water out of the mask really easily. Ooh. All we need to do is we put some pressure on the top of our mask. We're gonna look up real high and we're gonna blow out of our nose and that'll drain the water out the bottom. Oh, <laughs> that's really handy. Uh, but what happens if water gets inside our regulator? If the regulator comes out of your mouth, we can put it back in and clear the water in it by two ways. One, we can do a big exhale like a snorkel. Whoa. Exactly. <laughs> I can do that. The other option is we can hit this button here. It's called the purge button. Whoa. And it blows air and clears that water out. <laughs> Check it out. It's called the purge button. It purges all the water out of the regulator. Whoa. 
<laughs> That's fun. Can we try them? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Okay, I'll see you underwater. <laughs> Job. Whoa, this is so much fun. Oh, I feel like I could swim just about anywhere. <laughs> are there other places you can scuba dive? Absolutely. Other than a pool, all of the oceans are available for scuba diving. Oh, that sounds so amazing. Can you imagine seeing an animal in the water while you're in the water with it? <laughs> have you seen any of your favorite animals? I have. I saw a whale one time. <laughs> a whale, whale. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> I love whales. <laughs> so in the ocean, we can see so many interesting creatures. We can see colorful fish. We can see sea lions and seals, really giant sea kelp and seaweed, and also a lot of different types of lobsters and crabs. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, I think I'd like to do a little more swimming. Do you think we could try some? Next level adventures? I think you're ready for some aqua adventures. Want to give it a shot? Okay, aqua <laughs> adventure time! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I'm so excited to go on my very own aqua adventure. <laughs> so Jason, what are we gonna do first? The first aqua adventure we're gonna do is an underwater obstacle course. Ooh, an obstacle course underwater? <laughs> that sounds great. So on the bottom of the pool, there's a series of hoops, different sizes and shapes and colors, and you're gonna swim through them. And to help you practice your turning, there's gonna be a rope in the middle of it that you can practice turning around. Oh, that sounds awesome. <laughs> I can't wait to swim through all the colorful hoops and practice my turning. <laughs> and it's a great practice for buoyancy, right? Ooh. We don't wanna to float too much or sink too much. So we wanna be right in the middle so you can go right through those hoops. <laughs> awesome, this sounds so fun. I think I'm ready to jump in. Are you Let's, ready? I'm ready, let's do it. Okay, <laughs> here we go. See you soon. <laughs> Great job, Whoa. Flippy. Wow, did you see? I went through all the colorful hoops and did the obstacle course. <laughs> so Jason, what are we gonna do next? So the next aqua adventure we're doing is an underwater scavenger hunt. Who oh, no knew way, an underwater scavenger hunt? <laughs> I love scavenger hunts, but I've never done one underwater. Whoa. <laughs> so I placed a lot of colorful items on the other side of the pool. You're gonna go around and collect them and put them in the nearby black basket. Oh, okay, well keep your eye out. We're gonna find all the colorful objects and then we're gonna put them in the black crate at the bottom of the pool. Whoa. And there's one big and, and obstacle. It's the very heavy object that I'm gonna need your help with. Whoa, that sounds super heavy. Hope we can lift it. We're gonna use a lift bag, which means we're gonna use air from our scuba tank to put into the bag and it's gonna help lift the heavy objects. <laughs> Oh, that sounds amazing! I guess we'll have to start right away. I'll see you down there. See you soon.
fish to scavenger hunt and lift in the kettlebell. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. That was so fun. <laughs> you're welcome, Blippi. You did so great today. I think you're ready. Let's hit the ocean and I'll let you explore. <laughs> no way! We get to explore the ocean? <laughs> well, I am ready. <laughs> Let's go! Let's do it. I had so much fun learning how to scuba dive with you. And I sure love swimming in the pool. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> It'll make you wanna shout